How's it going everyone? This is Wine Gaming Connoisseur and welcome back to this let's play of EVE Online. And so today, as you can see, I'm using a battleship and this is a Marauder advanced uh, battleship called the Golem. And I trained into the ship for the, over the course of several months and the reason why I trained this ship is so that I can take on the Triplavian emerging conduits, which, <laughs> which my poor RP here simply couldn't uh, couldn't take on by himself and so you know I went and looked at uh, the list of different ships now the good thing about EVE Online is that uh, you know, there's, there's a ship for just about anything you want to do you know if there's a problem that you find that you're having trouble with then uh, you know there's a ship I think for, for you, to, you to pilot to solve that problem and so what you'll find is the battleship the golem is under advanced battleships Kaldari oh wait <laughs> not the black ops it's the marauders you can see the bonuses here and these are these are very good bonuses and so I'll show you my fittings okay so if we simulate so this is the, the amount of resists that I get. I get 70% of resists. Oh wait, <laughs> wait, that's not that's not right. Um, let me show you the uh, my updated. There we go. <laughs> that's better. So these are my resists. And so I've got uh, two adaptive invulnerability shield hardeners. And so what you need to take, take note of is that uh, if you played EVE Online before and you, you know, you're used to using this module, just bear in mind that uh, SV, uh, sorry, not SV, CCP has recently introduced a reduction in the percentage of resists. So they used to be 30%, but now it's 26 and uh, so it's across the board the same you know the same across the board for all resistance modules including armor resistance modules and shield resistance modules they're all down by 20 percent so i don't know what, what what your thoughts are about this i personally uh you know, don't like it but it's not a not such a big deal for me you know all i did was just replace the anti-em uh, shield hardener with another Adaptive invulnerability shield hardener, and uh, so I think that works out really fairly well for me. Now, one one skill that I uh, would like to recommend uh, that all of you, uh, if you're playing Eve Online, to train up is let me just find that this skill right here. Uh, if you can train this up as soon as possible to all the way to level five, because what you'll see is that uh, it'll reduce sales tax by eleven percent each each, uh, each each level. And so, as you know, there's a sales tax in this game. Um, so every time you sell something, uh, you incur a base five percent sales tax. Now, five percent might not sound very much when you know at the early stages when you're selling things that are not worth very much but once you start to get into you know later on when you start to sell things that are worth hundreds of millions of this you can really start to add up and so if you can reduce it each level will reduce that five percent by eleven percent so if you calculate that um eleven percent or five percent is i think you know uh point eight or something 0.8 I'm not, I'm not too sure what the percentages are but I'm just I'm just estimating right now so if you train all the train that up all the way to level five you reduce uh, sales tax by 55 percent or five percent <laughs> so if you've got a calculator you can work it out actually I might just work it out for you right now uh, calculator okay so if we uh, where's the multiplication So we times that by so 
See, so you reduce sales tax all the way down to 2.75, and you know that might not sound a lot, but when you're dealing with uh, sales tax that are in the millions of um, ISK, uh, you, you know you think twice. So, if you can uh, train this up all the way to level five as soon as you can. Now the skill, uh, let me just see. The skill is pretty expensive. It's five million ISK, and so. But it's worth it, you know, if you can train that up as soon as you can, that would be good. I think it'll really help you in the long run. Okay, now just before I head out, I'm just going to show you something else. Uh, where's my, uh, where's the corporations? Oh, here we go. Okay, so as you know, every character in EVE Online has to be in a corporation. doesn't matter whether you want to play solo or with other friends, you have to be in a corporation. Okay, so recently I lost a mobile tractor unit, which is a... Yeah, so this this guy killed it. I was uh, doing a Triglavian Emerging Conduit site and I had my mobile tractor unit uh, sitting right next to me. And this guy came along uh, with a with a typhoon battleship. I think it's a battleship or something. Or, you know, I can't remember what what uh, ship class it is. But he, he used a Scourge Fury cruise missile and basically did something like um, fifty thousand points of damage, and it destroyed my mobile tractor unit. Now the mobile tractor unit is. Essentially, uh, you know, if you're in a battleship, then you'll find that it's quite useful because because what it will do is it will pull in wrecks towards your ship so that you can, and then it will collect whatever's inside the wrecks. You know, if there's if there's loot inside the wrecks, it will loot it for you, and then all you have to do is open it and uh, just you know, put everything into your ship, and uh, and then you can just scoop it back up. So if you want to read that, you can pause the video. And uh, now this is quite vulnerable because not only is it stationary, but it has a very huge um, signature radius of 500 meters, which is a battleship sized signature, radi signature radius. So it's very easy to, to destroy. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking about using, using this, I would recommend that you only use it if you are sure that no one can destroy it because uh, you know if someone takes aggressive action against your mobile tractor unit uh, Concord won't respond it'll give the aggressor a suspect flag but it won't uh, you know Concord won't respond to to that so just just be aware of that now what I have done in response let me just bring up the what I have done is I put this guy in my in my contact list and I put him as terrible standing because of what he did. And this this is the thing I love about Eve Online is that it allows you to do so many things. Um, you know, it's something that you couldn't do in Mortal Online. You know, if, if someone kills you in Mortal Online, you you know, there's no way for you to keep a in-game record of um, of what that person did. You know, you either have to memorize that person. Uh, you know, memorize their name, or somehow you know uh, write it down on a piece of paper. But in this game, you can keep a contact list. And where's my <laughs> okay? Uh, people and places are oh, should be people. People and places are there. Yeah. So he, so he's here. He's in terrible standing. So, if you see this guy, just be just be careful because he may try to take out you know the things that you have you know that won't uh, incur a Concord response. So he's a member of our uh, good old pirates. So just be careful with this guy, Shurik Gora. Okay. Now I've never before that I've never known I've never seen this guy before. Um, but while I was doing, you know, while I was farming a, not farming, I was, uh, you know, t 
taking on a Triglavian combat site. He came along and took out my mobile tractor unit, so that's why I'm putting him in my terrible standing contact list. Okay, uh, so just bear in mind. And one other thing before we head out is once you start to have lots of stuff accumulated in your item hanger, what you can do is you can get these. Um, But if I show it to you in the uh, in the market, so the station container allows you to you know organize your items, and so that you can keep everything nice and tidy, organized. And <laughs> I'm sort of that I'm, I'm sort of that kind of person who likes to keep everything you know, organized properly. And so you know I've got uh, you know, my all my modules, you know, ship modules, and the random junk. Oh, I actually picked this up in a triple avian emerging conduit, so that's a. Uh, and you know, just I keep all my you know, minerals and ores in here. And production, I put all my blueprints and so forth. And trade, you know, stuff that I want to keep for later, because you know, in this game. Uh, Everything is, uh, is you know, this is a player-driven economy, so prices will fluctuate you know, from from time to time. You know what you the price that you get from one day might not be the same the next day. So you know I keep stuff that I want to save for later. <laughs> I keep it in here so that when the price is price is higher, then I can sell it. Actually, maybe let's just have a look and see what the price is today. Oh, four million isk. So maybe I can sell it. Maybe I'll put it in here. Okay, four million is. Uh, should we sell it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> so as you can see, the sales tax is. Um, oh wait, it's actually two point two five percent. Yeah, so sorry about that. The uh, 2.75 is the reduction, is the amount that gets reduced, and 2.25 is the actual amount that's left, the sales tax. So as you can see, you know, if you didn't reduce it down, you'd be paying for, you'd be paying, you know, another, I think, maybe another 100,000 ISK. But you know, if you reduce that down to 90, that's you know quite a quite a good amount that you saved and you actually get to keep more of your ISK in your pocket rather than paying it to the sales tax. <laughs> there. <laughs> we just got close to 4 million ISK in our bank account. Okay, so, so there you go. Um, if you want to keep your things organized, just you know, buy a whole bunch of these uh, station containers. Okay, now it's time to go out and look for a Galavian combat site, if you can find one, and one that's not uh, currently being uh, farmed. <laughs> not, not sure what's another word for but let's just go to Ancilla. Ancilla is actually uh, one of those systems that often has you know, Triglavian uh, combat sites. So let's just go there. And uh, so I am training, you know, science level five so I can uh, equip uh, beam tractors, tech two beam tractors. And oh, seems like the graphics have improved again. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so this is a is this a yeah, what is this? Okay, this is a gnosis. Um, I want to show you a 
battleship that you can potentially pilot if you're new so let me just uh, uh, can I find that um, not special edition battleships the Praxis okay so the Praxis is a battleship and it has a all, all it requires is spaceship command one so if you're a new player you can you, you can you can pretty much pilot this and you know it has it's pretty much a general generalist battleship so you can pretty much gear towards many different uh, roles so this is worth 174 million 800,000 ISK and so you know if you're a new pilot you know it's, I don't think it'd be too hard for you to it might take you a bit of time but you know but if you can get this battleship it'll be uh, I think you know, it'll be a starting battleship from for many of you I think you know if you're interested in a battleship class ship but uh, the golem <laughs> is um, I'll show you the description Yeah, this is pretty much a frontline warship and it requires a lot of uh, ship training uh, trainings into a lot of different areas so I actually spent quite a few number of months just training up this um, training up with this along with all the other modules that I wanted to use all right so let's see if there's a con uh, emerging conduit nearby there is Okay. So it's significant to note that uh, you know, Triglavian emerging conduits, you know, <laughs> don't try to go there unless you unless you have something like a Golem or a very powerful battleship, or if you have another friend who also has a battleship. Um, don't try to go there by yourself if you're in a, you know, in a destroyer or a cruiser because you you just get instantly destroyed in no time. 